Hi, let's play more of Will You Press the Button? You get the guy slash girl or guy girl of your dreams in a nice apartment. But you must listen to 12 angry children play Call of Duty every night next door. They are, they are very thin walls. I hate noise, so I'm going to choose I will not. Mm, most people would have pressed the button. Wow. You have an amazing and seductive singing voice, but you can only sing. You may never talk, only sing to respond. Uh, that can get kind of irritating. I'm just going to say I will not. Like, I'm not going to go to a job interview and sing my credentials. 49% of people have pressed this button. You can taste all food in the world, but you would be colorblind. Uh, well, I'm already colorblind. Kind of, sort of. Like, I know how it is. I mean, would the world just be black and white? I mean, that's fine. So, a black and white world, I can still taste all food in the world? Wait, what do you mean, taste all food in the world? Do you mean, like, at once? Or, if I'm just sitting here and thinking, hmm, I wonder what tiki masala tastes like. Never had it. But let me just think about it. And I can taste it? Like that? I mean, I can taste anything in general anyway. You know what? I'm just gonna choose... Uh, I will not. I'd rather see colors. I mean, I can already taste just fine. Mmm, 57% of people did not. You and five people can travel to the moon, and you can live there as you normally would on Earth. No oxygen tanks required. Internet still works. Etc, etc, etc. But, as soon as you get to the moon, you're stuck there for at least 10 years. 10 years? That's not fine. I mean, I've worked my job for over 10 years. Years go by really, really quickly. Uh, I will. I will press it. Most people would. You can transform into anything you can imagine, real or fictional. But, you go, you go through excruciating pain every time you transform. Hmm. Hmm. So if, if I wanted to be a tampon for my own personal use, I could, but as I'm transforming, I'd be in pain. Would be would being a tampon, would that be worth going through a lot of pain? Tampon, pain. I'm gonna say I will not. Most people would have pressed the button, they would have gone through the pain. I mean, granted, maybe they wouldn't want to be a tampon, but they're weird. You are Gordon Freeman. But, the apocalypse in the Half-Life series happens every five years. It is Half-Life. Uh, no, I will not. 62% of people did not. Will you press the button? You can fly, but while in the air, you shit every three seconds. Kind of like a bird. I would do it. I mean, flying is so cool. I mean, I, I just wear a diaper, right? Man diaper. You know, the, um, Japan has sold more adult diapers than baby diapers they have a whole problem there with people not having kids and the elderly are just living so long they might be extinct extinct in like a century or so japan that is kind of depressing uh i would press the button and fly and shit every three seconds most people would not huh idiots valve instantly released half-life 3 what's with this game in half-life which was considered the best video game of the century, but you can never play Team Fortress 2 again. I have no opinion on this. I'm just gonna go with what I know, which is Half-Life. I will press the button? Uh, most people would. Great. You can own the world's most successful business with no stress or out-of-pocket money. But you have to donate 75% of your charity, of your personal paycheck to the charity of your choice. 75%? Okay. I would choose to donate 75% of my personal paycheck because if my business is so successful anyway, the remaining amount of my personal paycheck would be astronomical, would be millions. That's how successful my business would be. So 75%, that's fine. I mean, I, I, I don't even need much. I could live on 1%. Of my successful business which I would assume would be a tampon making company of some sort I would press the button 88% of people would you would be $10,000 richer but your pets die if you have no pets then skip this well I don't have pets but I did have I did have a pet 
Doggies. Two doggies. Uh, no. Not worth it. Uh, most people agreed, but only 53%. A lot of people would rather still be $10,000 richer and have their pets die. Hmm. It's kind of sad. You can jump into any picture or film for as long as you like and switch places with the people inside. Kind of like Last Action Hero, but not at all like it. But you are blind whenever the sun is up. Well, I work at night, so I never see the sun. So I'm going to press the button and say, yay. Yay? Most people did not. Most people would rather than not be blind. You are raised to be the savior of your race. My race? You are loved by many and will be remembered for generation. And be remembered for generation. But you are persecuted to death by those who oppose you in the most painful way possible. It sounds like an obvious I will not. Only 55% of people agreed it would not. Your entire life has a musical underscore that you alone can hear. But you have a good idea of what's going to happen at any given moment because of the style and intensity of the music. Hmm. Uh, I'd rather have my life be quiet and not have uh, an underscore. But most people would rather have their own score. Their own life score. Really? 76% of people would rather have that noise around them at all times. Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess if you're sleeping, there would be nothing. You can fly, another flying one, but you can't walk. I'd rather fly, thank you very much. A lot of people agreed with me. Unlimited money, but you need to spend half of it on charity. Another charity quest <coughs> question? Like, why is this even an issue? I mean, yeah, I have unlimited money. I can spend half. Fine. I will. 89% of people would. That's a dumb question. Of course they would. You find genuine acceptance and friendship with every single person you meet. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. But you won't be any richer than you are right now. I'd go with the friendship. 52% of people agreed with me? It's not really that much though. You get $1,500 or $1,500 each month for the rest of your life. That's like my rent and then some. But you can never get a job again or get money from some... Ah, fine. Fifteen hundred. That's I. I. I can do that. I. I, I can do that. Fifty-one percent of people agreed. Again, not much. Actually, to me, it's just pretty even. You wake up to find five hundred dollars in your wallet each week without having to do anything each week. Five, ten, fifty, twenty. Hmm, that's a lot. Um, every month. But it's the only source of income you have. Yes, of course, I would do it. Sixty-one percent of people would too. That was an easy question. You can have infinite milkshakes at any time, but you can only have vanilla flavor, and there are big bits of ice in it. Mmm, any time I want though? Any time I want? Uh, yeah, I would. Most people would. You can kill anybody you want. Any way you want without the risk of anybody finding out it was you. But, you will become severely depressed every time you kill somebody and live with the guilt of knowing you killed that person and you cannot forget it. Bit redundant, but I get it. Uh, so in the end, I'm, I'm gonna be depressed. And I've been depressed. I'm depressed almost every day, and it's a terrible feeling. I'm gonna say no. Nothing is worth being depressed. 51% uh, of people agreed. This is almost half-half. This is almost an even split. So there's a lot of people out there who would happily kill somebody and still be depressed. To them, that would be worth it. That's kind of scary. You will become a god of technological invention, able to make the most amazing advances. But every fifth invention will be used for evil. You will invent something each uh, new each month. Hmm. Amazing advances or evil technology. Hmm. I don't want to create anything evil. I mean... I'm gonna make the amazing advances, technological inventions. I'll take my gamble on that. I'm gonna say yes. Most people would. You can travel through time and space, but the amount of time you travel is deducted from your lifespan. No, I don't want any years taking off of my life. 51% uh, of people did not. 
You will solve all mysteries and creepypastas, how Ben died, who Slender really is, etc. But all people involved in the mysteries will hunt you down. Uh, like Slenderman? Slenderman? I don't want Slenderman hunting me down. I'm gonna say I will not. <sighs> Oof, boy, I'm very burpy. And most people agreed they would not. You have fantastic singing abilities, but you belong to the Phantom of the Opera. This is a bad thing? I mean, okay, fine. But most people would not. I didn't realize a lot of people had a problem with the Phantom of the Opera. Okay. You can have infinite wishes. I want to say infinite because of the E in the N. Infinite. Let's just say infinite. You can have infinite wishes. They have a 50... Wait, there should be a period right here. You can have infinite wishes, period. You can have infinite wishes. They have a 50% chance of being the opposite of what you asked. But the two... What? But people die per wish. Wait, what? What am I looking at? Two upward up arrow si symbol, the amount of wishes. I don't know what this means. Anyway, I have a lot of wishes with the chance, with a 50% chance of them being the opposite of what I asked for. But people die with every wish. So if I wanted a million dollars, there's a 50% chance of me having the opposite. So negative million dollars being in serious debt. There's a chance of that, a 50% chance of that. Either way, Someone's gonna die. This is bad. I'm gonna say no. Most people will agree they would not do that. I took way too long that question. Anyone you meet will be instantly attracted to you, but rapists are included. That's too much of a risk. I'm gonna say no. Most people would have pressed the button. Hmm. Rape is not fun. You want none of that. You have limited, limitless. You have limitless creativity, whatever that means. But nothing is ever original or unexpected to you ever again. So the opposite would be, if I choose I will not, it would be I have uh, limited creativity, but everything is original to me and uh, unexpected. I'm gonna choose I will not. Seems like I want to live a life of, wow, everything is so original, it feels great. I will choose that. Uh, most people have disagreed with me. Most people would rather press the button and have limitless creativity but nothing is ever original. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you choose that? Okay, let's do one more. And that'll be it for today. A new gaming console is created that is perfect in every way. And it's free to you. But you will never be able to use any other device with internet access. You will never be able to use any other device. So does the gaming console, which is perfect in every way, have internet access? I'm going to say it does. Because it's perfect in every way. So... My gaming console, which is perfect in every way, I could use it to go on the internet, like at home. Like, I could use that as my desktop, but then again, I wouldn't have a phone that has internet access, which is fine. I mean, I've... I remember a time when phones didn't have internet access, or when cell phones didn't even exist. We just had house phones. I could do this, yeah. I agree with this. I'll, I'll press the button. Most people would not. Well, then, I am an old man. Uh, let's do one more. Let's not end on that one. Let's, let's do one more. You gain the ability to teleport anywhere in the world instantly and error-free. Instantly and error-free. Yeah, this is a good question. I can teleport and it'll be perfect. But every time you use the power, your life expenses, expect, expectancy is lowered by seven days. Now, my rule for this, as you might know by now, is I will never choose anything that'll lower my life years, uh, days. So, I'm gonna say, I will not. Most people disagreed. They would. So guys, that was fun. Uh, I'll do more of these. I'll make it a thing, you know, like a whole series. But until next time, bye.